In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins, and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people task to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for the health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ, to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We are on the second Sunday of Lent. Our priest presider is the Reverend Father Mario Sobrewanite of the Society of St. Paul. He is a superior of the Divine Master Retreat House in Aritzia, Italy, and spiritual director of the Axe Catholic Prayer Community. Let us join, Let us join the Axe Minstrels in singing the entrance hymn. At yan po ang kadahilanan kung bakit tayo nagkakatipon. Nagkakatipon dahil sa kapakatinding pag-ibig ng Diyos para sa atin na ginawa niyang sampayanan. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As, as Jesus and his disciples travel to Jerusalem, where suffering and death await, their journey is interrupted by an experience of Jesus' transfiguration. 
And on the mountain, the three disciples get a glimpse of the glory that the Master will have after his resurrection. The experience is only for a moment, but it is a source of fresh courage and new strength that will sustain them on the difficult way of the cross. For those moments when we did not understand that the cross is the way to glory, that the cross is but a passage to one that is victory, we ask the Lord's forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling place pleasing to you. So the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. When Abram's faith is sorely tested, because of his lack of a son and heir, the Lord gives him a sign that he will fulfill his promise of giving the patriarch many descendants. The first reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God took Abraham outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars if you can. Just so, he added, shall your descendants be. Put, Abraham put his faith in the Lord, who credited it to him as an act of righteousness. He then said to him, I am the Lord who brought you from court of the Chaldeans, to give you this land as a possession. O oh Lord God, he asked, how am I to know that I shall possess it? He answered him, bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old she-goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Abraham brought him all this, split them in two, and placed each half opposite the other. But the birds he did not cut up. Birds of prey swooped down on the carcasses, but Abraham stayed with them. As the sun was about to set, a trance fell upon Abraham, and a deep, terrifying darkness enveloped him. When the sun had set, it was dark, 
There appeared a smoking fire pot and a flaming furnace, which passed between those pieces. It was on that occasion that the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, To your descendants I give this land, from the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Because the cross of Christ is a scandal to the Jews and folly to the Gentiles, Christian converts may be tempted to abandon it. Paul reminds the Christians to stand firm in their belief, because the cross is the only way to glorification. The second reading. 
a reading on the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others and be the imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct yourselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is their stomach, their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven. And from it, we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way, stand firm in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us give honor to the Holy Gospel. the shining cloud, the Father's voice is heard. This is my beloved Son. Hear Him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, John, and James and went up the mountain to pray. While he was praying, his face changed in appearance, and his clothing became dashed in white. And behold, two men were conversing with him, Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his actions that he was going to accomplish in Jerusalem. Peter and his companions had been overcome by sleep, but becoming fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As they were about to part from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. But he did not know what he was saying. While he was still speaking, a cloud came and cast a shadow over them, and they became frightened when they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my chosen son. Listen to him. After the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone. They felt silent and did not at that time tell anyone what they had seen. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are celebrating the second Sunday of Lent. If in the first Sunday the gospel speaks about it, always speak in the first Sunday about the temptations of Jesus, in the second Sunday of Lent, it will always speak and present to us the transfiguration. And in the transfiguration, there will be five things that are most important 
which we will have always to consider. First, that the gospel speaks about us, but not just us. Speaks first about what God wants, what is the role of Jesus, and what we are for Jesus. So, ang ating filka abangyo will always speak about God, Jesus, and us. That's the first. Secondly, it will introduce to us who Jesus is. The Father Himself will confirm to us who Jesus is as He calls Him today His beloved Son, His chosen Son, His privileged Son. So, ngayon, pinakikilala sa atin na si Jesus ay hindi lang ordinaryong rabbi o ordinaryong prophet. Ang tawag sa kanya, His beloved Son, His chosen Son. Jesus indeed is divine, special to the Father as His chosen Son. Ikatlo, there will be two personages na kinilang kilala na in fact inaasahan ng lahat ng mga hudyo bilang mga taong tunay na nagpakilala sa kanila ng Diyos. The first one is Moses the Liberator. Remember him. He freed all of Israel from their slavery in Egypt. But not only that, as they were about to enter the promised land, he would give them the laws by which they were supposed to live their lives as God's chosen people. Pero Moses, they knew, spoke to God, saw the face of God. He encountered in that God personally. But there is another one, another great personage, uh, a personality in the Old Testament. Elijah, the greatest of all prophets. The prophet spoke in the name of God. The word God's mouth peace to his people. And it was Elijah who actually freed them from the false priests. And it was Elijah who spoke to God. You remember? Not during the fire, not during the strong wind, but in the gentle breeze. Dalawang tao who were known not only to speak about the law of God, but of what God wants of them. Pero, there is something else. That in this gospel of today, and only in this gospel, what is the be recorded as talking to Jesus, and they're talking about something very specific, is exodus to Jerusalem. Ano ibig sabihin? That they will be telling Jesus, lahat ng aming ginawa, lahat ng aming sinabi sa inyo tunay na mabubuo. You will complete whatever it is that we have begun. In you is to be found the completion of the law, the fullness of the revelation of God. They will speak to Jesus about something that more many of us would not want to talk. Bakit? So, but here we have presented a Jesus who will make a decision, who will confirm his decision. And what is that? That he will make his exodus that will meet his death at the cross in Jerusalem, that he will be refused by the elders of the people, and he will be tortured and crucified. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, there is a fourth thing. Jesus will choose his cross. That is the path he will take. He will not take the easy way that is being offered by here, dito na lang tayo. Huwag na tayo ng problema, ng problema ng iba. Huwag na tayo bumalik sa kung saan dati na makahira. Here, we are okay. Let's build three times the easy way. But Jesus chooses the hard way because at the end of this hard way is glory. And then the fifth. Hindi lamang na i-introduce siya bilang anak ng Diyos. As the chosen son, the Lord God, the Father in heaven, who gave us one basic instruction. Listen to him. St. Paul would tell us, be imitators of him. Look at him and find out the right path that God desires, the just for his son, 
but for all of us who call ourselves Christian. And dear friends, impressed by the presence of Moses and Elijah, the disciples had to be told, Oy, big timers to mga to. Oy, kinalang-kinalang to mga to in the Old Testament. But from now on, the Father points to His Son. Ito na lang ang inyong papakinggan. Sa pagkat the fullness of everything that I desire, my Son will reveal to you. Listen to Him. Kaya kung ang ating paniniwala bilang Kristiyano cancels off the instructions of Jesus, then we are not true believers. Jesus tells us something that Christianity makes a difference with a lot of other religion. He says, Totoo, I will not be what you think I will be. I will not want to be what you think I should be. And I will not take the easy way. The Lord There were three things that supported him. He knows he's infinitely loved by the Father. Wala akong problema kung ano sasabihin ng mundo. Alam ko tama ang aking ginagawa. Alam ko ikinatutuwa ito ng aking mama. Alam ko I'm doing what my father's desire is. Alam ko I'm doing this thing. I am infinitely loved by him. At siya lang ang pinakamahal ka. He also knows that he has a specific and unique mission that he has to accomplish. Di ba sa namin na namin ito? There are two days when we are truly happy. The first is nang tayo pinanak sa mundo ito. Pangalawa, nang tayo'y nalaman ang kadahilan kung bakit tayo pinanak sa mundo ito. And Jesus knew exactly what this vision is, what He has to accomplish. All that is happening regarding His mission should be done and this is the way it should be. Three friends, brothers and sisters, Only passion and true love, something greater than what the world can offer, can make a, a person decide not to take the easy way. Hindi pwede tayo malayo ngayon sa kwento na nangyayari, which is touching the whole world. It's the story of the invasion of Ukraine. Alam naman natin how powerful is the army of the Russians. The things that they have. They can easily conquer any nation. And Ukraine's army is nothing compared to what Russia has. Pero in an article that I read, when it's saying that Ukraine has a secret weapon. And you know what, what that weapon is? It's not a what, it's a who. The president, Zelensky. Zelensky was someone nobody took seriously. Bakit? Umidyan, dituwi. Hindi naman to na-expose sa sinasabi politika. But the moment he entered into it, and now the whole world is looking at this man and seeing him as an inspiration for something greater than Zelensky himself. Bakit? Here is a man they see who is with passion who has great love for his nation, for his people, who is ready to sacrifice life for the sake of others. Alam nyo ba ni Silenski, hindi niya kaya ang labanan ng Russia? Alam niya. He knew he has become the number one target. But in the process of his decision, ang ganda no, I don't think we will ever forget these words anymore. The moment the Americans knew he was going to be hunted and he could easily die, he was offered to get away from Ukraine. Para ba ang si Peter? No, dito na lang tayo. Lumayo na tayo sa hima, sa cruz. His response is incredible. The fight is here. Just give me ammunitions. Not a right. Not the easy path. To save myself, I have to be with my people. And if need be, I will die with them. This man has done what a lot of other people in the nations have not done. Unified Europe 
inspire the whole world to once again take the one important, the many important things that we have taken for granted, human dignity, respect for freedom, equality, recognizing the aspirations of others, not to impose our own ideas on others, not to use violence. Kaya tinatawag sa sikreto, bakit? Kasi totoo, kaya din tanunin talaga ng Russia ang Ukraine. But it's going to be a long march, are you okay? Why? Because these people are fighting for something important to them. Because these people have decided na kahit na sila ay pinayo muna ang kanilang mga asawa, mga anak, at mga magulang pangbalik kami. Bakit na ipinaglalaban po kami dito na mas mahalagang pa kaysa aming doon? Ukraine may be overcome, but not the spirit that is in the hearts of his people. You can bring in mercenaries who you will pay. Pero ang mga ito are not fighting for something more important, really important, which is values, human dignity, respect for life. You know, sabi nga na kayo ng cardinal ang ibadala ng sampo. Sabi niya, nang ako'y pumunta rito, Just thinking about war and attack. Sabi niya, and bombardment that shocks me. But to bombard a hospital for children that is beyond me. But you have lost your values. But you have lost the things that are more important. Then this is what you will become. Any friends, brothers and sisters, Today we pray for Ukraine, but today the Lord invites us to see what is that important thing for which you cannot go of others. He has chosen the path of the cross, for cross may not have been so well, but he knew that it is not going to be the end of the story. Something far greater awaits. Kaya nga daw nangyari ito sa mga kapur sa taas. Because when the sun rises, the first thing that gets lighted are the mountain tops. The last thing that loses life are the mountain tops. Jesus is telling us, enter into my life. Feel the love of the Father. Fight for that which is true. Die for that which is honorable. Kanina, no, naghanap ako ng tanim kasi hindi naman tayo pwede magtagay ng tulang plan. So napunta ko sa kay sister na pardon ko lang So we went back to our little forest here in Zapataguero, that 10 hectare area. Nagalap ako, may nakita ko, sabi ko, ay, ang ganda naman ito, sama-sama. Habang pinuputol ko siya, inaamuyan ko dito sa herbs na ito. Yung pala, I would like to realize what it is. Sinabi ko nga kay, sa kanilang kanina na aking mga members, mahala kami ba ko, ano, kakilala niyo ba ko, ano yung ganyan ito? Ibibigay ko na kayo ng clue. O kayo nagluluto ng adobo, alam niyo kung anong daman dito? Laurel. But laurel is a very important leaf even during the time of the Christians. For the Romans, this one means achievement, the crown of glory. This one means you have achieved something greater. You have become victorious. You have done something that which is beautiful. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, this is not just a decoration of an ordinary thing. This actually is the crown of perseverance. You have lived up, working hard for something, you will achieve it. And we know alam, this also is a decoration during the Roman times for the dead. The Christians may be asked, to die for something. It doesn't take away the crosses of life. It doesn't take away the frustrations of life. It doesn't take away the moments of great difficulties and struggles. But Jesus promises us, glory awaits those who will persevere in the goodness, in the path of righteousness that he has taken. Let us pray with St. Paul that we may have the courage to be imitators of the Lord in the path of the cross, 
that leads us to glory and victory. Let's pray for Ukraine. Let's pray for a world that is in pain. Knowing in the end, goodness will always overcome evil. Amen. And so now we proclaim, I believe in the name of God. The Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of, the, of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The prayers of the faithful. Father, our covenant with you in Christ is the cause of our hope. Now we have to approach your throne, O God, as we lift our supplications to you. We pray Sustaining God, hear us. Sustaining God, hear us. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, religious men and women, through their faithful witnessing, may they carry out with zeal the mission of mercy of Christ. Sustaining God, hear us. For those who exercise civil authority in our country, may they take part to the call of the gospel to protect the sanctity of life and promote love, peace, and justice for all, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. For the end of the pandemic, may all of us who are experiencing in any way the suffering caused by the pandemic be given the grace of healing and strength to endure the struggles towards consolation and greater peace, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. For those who want to repent from their sinful ways, may they approach the grace of mercy and healing through the sacrament of reconciliation, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. For the catechumens, may they be firm in their resolve to renounce sin, so as to be reborn of the font of life and salvation, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. For our viewers, the homebound, and their families. May the Almighty Father continue to protect them and through the powerful intercession of our Blessed Mother, grant all intentions and requests offered through this Mass. We pray. Sustaining God, hear us. May our belief in the resurrection of the body sustain us as we pray and mourn for the death of those whom we love, we pray. Sustaining God, hear us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Sustaining God, hear us. Father, whose mercy endures forever, listen to the prayers of your faithful people, and by the word of truth and spirit of grace, prepare us to be cleansed by Easter mysteries. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice in mind be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, cleanse us of our faults and sanctify your faithful in body and mind for the celebration of the Paschal festivities through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death, on the holy mountain he manifested to them his glory, to show even by the testimony of the law and the prophets that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks 
that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with our cardinals and bishops in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. In a special manner, Lord, we pray for all the victims of violence and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With Jesus, our brother and friend, let us now pray to the Father that this will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace that comes from knowing we are fulfilling the will of God. Peace that comes from knowing the cross is not the end of our story. Peace in knowing there awaits us the laurel, the crown of victory, the crown of glory with God. We share that peace with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us together pray this prayer for a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us now pray. As we receive these glorious mysteries, we make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, 
for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers even now of the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, nagkatawang tao ang Panginoon upang ni isa man sa atin ay hindi pwedeng magsabing hindi siya marunong masaktan, lumuha, dumaan sa krus, sa pigati ng buhay. He has chosen this path to tell us that though all of these difficult things happen, there is glory that awaits all of us. And worthy are we who will persevere to get the crown of the laurel of glory. Sa araw pong ito, pagdasal natin, hindi lamang yung mga nahihirapan, kundi yung mga nagpapahirap. Let's pray in a special manner for a change of heart of leaders are supposed to be thinking of human dignity, the preservation of life, the protection of the poor and those who are weak, especially the mothers and the children, that God may make them to realize human glory will one day disappear. But to the pains of those who persevere, eternal glory awaits. Lord, Iparamdam niyo po sa amin na kayo'y malapit sa amin. Na nang kayo'y ipinakilala sa bundok ng tabor bilang the chosen one, the chosen son, that you will tell us that you have chosen to a way, a way to real glory. Na ang tunay na karakter ng isang Kristiyano hindi nalalaman sa oras ng gloria, ng walang hirap, It will only be known in moments of pains and difficulties. May we have the courage, your courage, and the courage of your saints. Firstly, to understand that the values of this world are nothing compared to the eternal values that will last. Teach us to truly follow you and be imitators of you and your way of glory, the cross. It is not just the light, but that which brings us to the light. The love of God, our love of you, and our love of our brothers and sisters. This is our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God come upon you and remain with you always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have been blessed in this Mass. Let us continue to take the path of light that leads us to the glory that lasts forever. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God.